I'm just taking a little bit of rest um, from my cardio this morning. It's like the most beautiful run. I don't run, so like this is a new thing because I just can't get to a gym this weekend. It is my rest day, but I do need to do cardio and abs today. But I would run every day if it meant running in a place like that. Honestly, I love cardio because I always like do the best thinking, but like it's pretty brisk out today and I don't know, I just, it was very like mind clearing. I look so tired today, like don't mind anything that's going on here, but I am away for the weekend with uh, some people from my team um, in Monet and we're staying at a beautiful cottage that I will show you guys, but we had a night full of motivational speakers. Um, Ed Milet was one of them and he had said so much things that just sat with me and being on a beach right now just really puts those words into fruition. And he basically just said that, you know, in life, in business, in relationships, they're all like a wave, you know, they're all coming into shore and being pulled back sometimes by the undertow. So there's certain moments in your life and your business and your relationships that you're going to feel that undertow pull you back more than you're used to. And in those moments, those moments that you, how you react to the undertow, how you see the undertow, you can either see it one of two ways. You can either see it pulling you back and letting that make you give up, or you can see that it's only pulling you back a little bit, but the wave in general is getting you closer to the shore. It's getting you closer to that happiness, that joy, that success, that relationship that just gets through the things that it gets through. And I will forever thank him for that because that honestly changed my life and the two minute little spiel he said, and I don't think he understands the magnitude of that for some people. So. I just wanted to share that with you guys today on my morning run as I clear my head and get my body moving. Um, I'm going to head back. I'm making brunch for everybody. We have a solid day plan. I'm going to show you guys my weekend and just give you a little ins and outs on what we do when we network market shampoo and stuff. Uh, I'm nine and a half weeks out of prep. So being away for the weekend, you have to be prepared because if you're not, you're going to just go off diet. You're going to fail. You're going to do all of these things. Um, and those things are just not going to get you stage ready. So lots of temptation, lots of saying no, lots of wishing I could, but I can't. And, you know, something that has really stuck with me and has really sat with me through this prep is your why has to be bigger than your why not. And that needs to keep you going when you don't want to. So I'm going to finish my run. And... I'm gonna, I got 100 calories left to burn, so I'm gonna go up and down this nice little um, fenced in thing for a couple times and burn some cows. So I will see you guys. Look at these beautiful ladies taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I'm <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. I'm just getting home. Um, I had to drive one of my friend Kelly to, she had to pick up a rental car. And then I hit the gym because I really needed a good cardio session and things like that. So I did cardio and abs. I'm dead right now. I feel so drained today. Just emotionally, mentally, physically, everything. So I have to make lunch for everybody. But then I am napping because I need to. Um, so yeah. Nap day. And then I have check-in. So we'll see how that goes. Look how freaking pretty. It is outside.
So this is my current physique. I'm about eight and a half, nine weeks out. Um, don't mind the bruises on my legs. I do work with insulation and I dropped a skit on my leg. That's why I have a gigantic one. And also I'm just very clumsy and klutzy. And we do think I have an iron deficiency or something that is causing me to bruise a lot. So I do have to go to the doctors to figure that out because I bruise like a peach if I hit or touch anything my legs or my body bruises. So. Jesus. Okay, that was a last day vibes. All clean up duty. <laughs> it's Sunday. Got my Sunday shirt on. We are all packing and heading home. Um, we have about an hour and a half drive, so it's not too bad, but I'm sad. I love the people I spent the weekend with and they're just all good souls, so it's a good weekend. It's a good weekend. Now home, I had check-in. Um, I just sent it to my coach and nine weeks out. And, and yeah, I'm going home. I have to gym tonight and then grocery shop meal prep for the week. Get this party started. <laughs> Into the main Hello everybody. I it's Tuesday. I just showered, obviously, and I'm wearing my Sunday shirt, so what it to you. Um my check in this week didn't go that fab. We've been having a lot of been having a lot of issues like with my stomach and um just everything. I don't know, like just a lot of things and like over the past couple months since COVID, um uh, I've really looked at my diet and stuff and just kind of like reevaluated like my veganism and everything like that. So that's something I'm kind of like working through right now. Um, for those of you who haven't, who don't know, I've been vegan for like four and a half years now. So, um, with COVID and everything, it's just, it was a really confusing time and it was just, yeah. So I've been thinking a lot about being not vegan anymore. Um, I thoroughly do not want to eat meat ever again. I really don't. Um, but my health comes first. And that's something that I've never really thought about. And I'm not saying a vegan diet can't be healthy or anything like that. But um, just certain things are not happening the way they should. And, and it does have to do with my diet. My coach is very in tune with nutrition and things like that. So first things first, I need to go to the doctors and figure a couple things out with my stomach. Secondly, um, I did introduce um yogurt back into my diet which is something I literally haven't had in like four years um lactose free greek yogurt um it's a bit odd <laughs> to say the least I'm not a fan of the flavor or anything like that but it's not bad and it really hasn't upset my stomach which is kind of nice um but yeah that's just something that I'm working through and also with everything going on, I don't know if I have an iron deficiency or something because I am bruising like a peach. I'm going to show you my legs and you are going to shit. So that's the other thing why I need to go to the doctors because like this is not regular. <laughs> so starting tomorrow, I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning and I am doing posing and stuff in the morning and just having a better morning routine. Um, I did like a couple weeks ago have a really solid structure and then after this weekend I was just so exhausted and I really needed to catch up on sleep and being on prep. I'm just going to take this off. Being on prep, you are minimal, minimal energy. So sleep is super important and it's something I always lack. So speaking of sleep, I'm going to hit the hay. I'll see y'all in the morning and I hope this week goes better. Um, I'm trying not to stress if I'm ready, I'm ready. If not, then you know, it is what it is, but 
I'm really praying that I can be ready. Um, we have nine weeks. Whew. Scary, scary stuff. Scary stuff. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Cheers. I'm just at work. As you can see, I look like a bum. But I'm just having my snack. Well, it's not a snack, but it's my second meal. I my first meal already. Um, and then I'm having 120 grams of tofu and a ton of vegetables. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Um, we're insulating a massive house today. We're going to be so nice. Yesterday was like a mental block for me. And I pushed through it. And today is a great day. It's a new day. Time to focus. Hales and I both were kind of feeling the same. And she's on prep too. And it's just like nice to have that person who truly understands what you're going through. Because you really don't understand the depth of prep until you've been through it. So it's really awesome that we're going through this together. However, um, I've changed my check-ins to Fridays now instead of Sundays. So hopefully this week things have moved. Um, I do feel a lot tighter and a lot leaner, but my scale is just not moving and it's frustrating me. I'm never one to focus on the scale, but when it comes to comp prep, it does matter. So I'm hoping that this week really did some stuff to it because if not, I don't know what the heck to do, but well, I'm going to give you a little update and you know, I'm doing back today. We started carb cycling this week, and I think that's what's played a toll on my mental um, blockage because I've never been so low carb, really, except on my rest days, but now I have to work out on my low days, and I, it's like your workouts aren't don't feel the best because you can't get a pump because you have, like, no energy, and, like, it's really pushing a threshold, so I had a shoulder day. I'm hoping that back day today is, like, better and more oomphy because I just really need, like, a good workout. But I have a high carb day tomorrow, and I'm going to do some legs. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. But, yeah. I'll see you guys later. We are back in the bed. I always do my best thinking and, like, stuff at night. So, I just chill in bed and just, like, be by myself. I don't know if that's just amazing, but... Anywho, I had such a good back day today. Like, I just... My back workouts have just been so good. And, like, I feel everything. And I just love that. Because, like I was saying, it was really hard for me to, like, have the energy to work out this week. So, um, I moved my check-ins to Fridays which is t tomorrow but I checked it on Sunday so it's going to be a really short week this week because I had to change my check-in day however I'm hoping that it's better than it was last week I'm just I'm not even stressed I'm just like frustrated because you know you put all this work in and you're not getting anything back however that's the patience of prep and life is that you don't always get what you put in and that's just life but I will let you know how my check-in goes tomorrow I'm gonna go to bed super early it's like 8 30 because I'm getting up at four so good night gym guys I will see y'all in the morning for check-in <laughs> eight week check-in so scary so you're just gonna have to wait for next week to get my check-in However, I would love if you guys liked and subscribed as per huge. If you want to check out my Instagram and follow me on there. It is Summer Crommy. And follow along for the next couple weeks with my prep and see how everything goes. Follow me to the stage. This is my first show. And I really um, just wanted to have this for me as a record. But also just for anyone who wants to do a prep. Like I said before, I never really found something that was like raw and gritty and just showed you the hard times of prep and the not so hard times and just like how gritty it can get because mentally it's gritty, mentally. But stay tuned, we're halfway through 
uh, check-in is tomorrow and you'll have to wait till next week to see how it goes. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, guys. And always, don't forget to smile. Life is too beautiful. And there's too many beautiful things throughout your day that, well, should, anyways. Put a smile on your face. Takes more, I think smiles burn more calories than frowns. So smile, burn those cows. I'll see you guys next week at my check-in. See how it goes. Bye, guys.